Hello and welcome to episode number 5 of the Computer Craft Tutorials. Today we're going to be talking about loops and there's going to be two kinds of loops. The first video is going to be about while loops which I'll explain now and the second part about for loops. Pretend you did not see any of this. Alright, so we're going to edit a program called loop. Okay. So let's say that you're programming and you want to do the same thing multiple times in a row. Um, let's say you want to print hello. And you want to do this like three times. Just give me a second here to... There we go. Okay, so there we go. This is where you could do it. Print hello three times. No problem. And it works. Great. However, imagine you want to do this like 10 times or 20 times, 100 times maybe. It's going to get a little bit um, ridiculous to <laughs> write the same line 100 times in a row. And it's going to, you know, how are you going to keep counting? It's just a massive pain, right? So what we have to do that instead is we have loops. And what loops do is they repeat um, the same code multiple times. And one of the loops, the one we're going to talk about now in this first part, is the while loop. And the while loop works similar to the if statement from last uh, episode, except it works a little bit differently. Uh, but the syntax is pretty much the same. So it's a while loop, and then you need some Boolean value. And then, you, instead of then, as in the if statement, you go if then, you do while do. And just as in the if statement, you end it like that, with end. Um, the difference is, however, let's say we want to print hello here. The difference is that the while loop, when it comes to the end, it goes all the way back to the top again at the while loop and it checks, shall I do this again? So imagine this boolean is true. So it comes here, it's a while true, okay, it's good, I can do this. It goes print hello, it goes end, and it's like, oh, I'm going to go back up again, I'm going to go to the while loop, oh, it's true, print hello again, end go back up, and it goes on like that forever. So we want to run this program. Loop. Blink, this is printing hello, and it's going, going to go on into eternity until I press Ctrl T. There we go. So, any program you have that is um, basically running forever, which you want to be constantly running, will be running within a, a while loop that's always true, which is like is called an infinite loop. Um, so they can be useful, but in this case it's not really handy. Let's say we want to print hello three times. Just as in the if statement you could say something like if i is equal or i is smaller than 4. Well, we can do that here as well. While i is smaller than 4. And we'll just give, make i 1 at the beginning here. Print hello. Now what's going to happen is exactly the same as just now. Um, i is smaller than 4 at the moment. It will print hello. Go to the end. Go back to the top i is still smaller than 4, and it'll print hello again. Except, of course, now i is going to remain 1 forever, because i's value is not being edited at all. Um, but what we can do is, inside the while loop, is make i 1 higher every time we execute the while loop. So the i inside the while loop is the same i as outside the while loop. Um, so every time it does this, it prints hello. It also adds 1 to i, which means that eventually i will become higher than 4 and it will skip the while loop just like it would skip if statements if the um, boolean value is false. So let's see how this goes. And there we go. Prints hello three times. Because it goes i is 1. Okay, that's good. While i is smaller than 4. Print hello. i is now 2. End. Go back up. I is still smaller than 4 because it's 2. Print it again. Oh, I is 3 now. End. I is smaller than 4 because it's 3. Print again. I is now 4. End. Go up back to the while loop. And I is now 4, which is not smaller than 4. And it will skip the while loop and it's done. So that's the basic working of a while loop. Um, that's quite a shorter video than I was expecting. Um, but next video will be. Um, 
heading over to four loops and that should be a little bit longer um, what I could say, just as in if statements, you can also do things like oop, uh, and and do something like y is smaller than 20 or some boolean um, and you can have uh, all sorts of different booleans mashed together to um, check multiple things at the same time just as like you can with if statements but if you want to know more about that you can look at the previous video it works exactly the same way now because um, this whole i plus one is such a common uh, thing you're going to be doing um, there's a special kind of loop that makes this a little bit shorter for you and it defines the variable in the loop um, and it also adds automatically adds one to the variable every time it does the loop so you don't have to have this line here separately and that's called the for loop and we'll be talking about that in the next part of this video so hop on over there and I'll see you in a second